Welcome back everyone. Welcome back the <laughs> to my channel. My name is Katie aka Tattooed Mama. If you are new here, welcome. Today's video I'm going to have a huge, when I say huge, I mean huge, like, let's see if I can angle you down. So much stuff. So much stuff to show you guys. Obviously this is not my normal setup, but I'm sitting on the floor because this is going to be the easiest way for me to show you guys everything instead of me having to pick everything up I have my little bat here in the background so I think it I think it works I think it works um so yeah if you guys are curious to see all my 2020 trash then just keep watching all right so this is going to be one of my first videos filming with my new like v-shaped bangs I do want to say and my pink hair so the bangs are a little um weird for me I know it's different. Um, I do, I did probably trim this side a little bit higher than I should have. I need to go to my friend that is a hairstylist and have her like trim them. I think right now I'm just going to kind of probably keep them how they are. So I don't trim them like too short, but they're very fun. Definitely like different fashion wise for me, but I wanted to try something new and my bangs aren't going to be down all the time I just kind of keep looking in the camera and I'm just kind of like looking at my bangs like being kind of weird so just don't mind that some of you guys might not like the bangs so sorry if that's distracting you hopefully you like the color and hopefully you obviously still like me so anyway this video is obviously going to be 2020 trash I've been trying to collect up collect up my empties for a full year and um, I have things from beauty um, to cleaning products to litter to laundry stuff so like pretty much everything um i did go get myself a little caffeine because i needed it this is the starbucks um pistachio frappuccino i thought that the frappuccino would be like the pistachio would be green but it's not um it's good but it doesn't really taste like pistachio okay let's get in so pretty much i'm going to just show you the empty if I feel like it's necessary to tell you guys um, more about it, I will. Uh, but I'll do some like really quick reviews because I already know that this video is going to be pretty dang long, most likely. So be sure you grab your snack. Like grab yourself a snack, whatever you, I was going to say a healthy snack, but you can eat whatever the heck you want. Um, and get comfy. And if you want to see a whole year worth of, it's almost a whole year. There's a few months in the beginning of the year that I didn't collect stuff up because I didn't know I was specifically doing this video. And then I was like, you know what? Probably in right when quarantine and stuff happened, I was like, let me collect all of this stuff up. So I'm ready to throw all this stuff away. So I'm going to go and do little speed reviews and stuff. So like I said, grab yourself a snack, something to drink, get into your comfy clothes and chill. And let's um, turn this and get on to, sorry if you see the light in my glasses as well. I um, need them on so I can see. Okay. First one I'll show is this right here. Um, this is Poopery, so kind of matches my hair. This is the pink citron. Citron. Um, I do have the other one in here somewhere. I'm not gonna go digging. We'll get it in a minute. Um, Poopery to me is amazing. Obviously, you spray it in the toilet before you go poo, and it makes it not smell like the room smell bad. Um, this is like not bad. It's supposed to be strawberry cit. Citrine, citrine. I'm pretty not sure I'm saying that right. And rock candy. It has up to 100 uses, which I totally believe. Um, the packaging is gorgeous, and it's pretty when it sits on your toilet. But to be honest with you, after smelling this like 30 times, you kind of get uh, like annoyed of the smell. Um, this does reopen, so what I'm going to do is just reopen it and put some um, other fragrance in it. Um, and have that to be able to sit up on the toilet because I think this is like a perfect little spray bottle. So I'm gonna keep that bottle. I just wanted to show you that I like that. All right, um, next up, like I said, I'm going in no particular order, is the Olay Cleansing Infused Hydrating Glow Balm. Uh, I almost said balm. Um, no, face wash. A lot of these are sample size stuff that I did get from a subscription box. So um, this I did like. Um, it's not something that I would like obviously go out and buy. Olay is a more expensive brand, obviously at the drugstore. 
and I have my St. Ive one that I like a little bit more. So this one is not, it wasn't bad, but it's not one that I would obviously go out and purchase. This right here, sorry, I'm trying to get to where you guys can see. This is the um, Coochie Love Story. This is a Central Amber and Warm Vanilla Conditioning um, Shave Cream. This smells so good. You can use this um, as a conditioner and or a shaving cream and I totally use it as a shaving cream and I love it it was super hydrating and um it was just moisturizing to the skin when I like shaved it and I, I got this in a subscription box and if I ever get this again I'm gonna be very excited I'm not sure where they sell this um but I really really like that guys I am so sad this is gone I got this oh about a year ago uh, nah, probably maybe a year ago. No, nah, yeah, it was last year, beginning of last year in the Target Beauty Box. But this is the Love Beauty and Planet. This is the um, this is the scent coconut milk and white jasmine. Remember that coconut milk and white jasmine. It has to be the white jasmine scent that's in here. I can't even tell you guys. This is my favorite scent that I have ever smelt of anything in my life. Any fragrance or anything like that, this has to be the best scent that I have ever smelt in my life. And then I went and got the deodorant. So they have the little ones like this at Target. I haven't seen this one because I got this one in like the Target beauty bundle or whatever, or yeah, whatever it's called. And um, let me angle you guys down just a bit. So I purchased like every single one of the other scents of this and I'll be doing another video on that. But this, I just don't even know guys what it is. It smells so good. I'm pretty sure they have a body wash and stuff in this or like, no, I don't know if they have a body wash. I think they have just a shampoo and conditioner and I might have to splurge and get it. So I did get the, um, I've been on like the more natural deodorant thing. This is the Love Beauty and Planet. Um, same scent as this. But it's the deodorant, and it smells so good, but this does not work for me. It um, doesn't keep me not from sweating and smelling good. It's just not one that works. So what I'm going to do is just, like, cut the top layer off and then resell this because, um, I mean, these things aren't cheap. So why throw out a perfectly good deodorant? Next up is the Briogeo. Don't... Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. These come all the time in like BoxyCharm and stuff like that and or like Ipsy. So um, I love these. I have a few, well, I think I have a few more in my stockpile. I highly recommend if you're looking for a really good deep conditioner, this right here is one to try if you're looking to splurge. But if you're not, there's tons of other drugstore options. Um, the White Rain Extra Hold Hairspray. This is just if you need a hairspray. It works good. The nozzle is kind of not working great. So there's still a little bit left, but I have other hairspray I have to use. Um, Gully. Pretty sure there's a few of these. Yep. And I think I have another one in here. I've finished like three Gully vitamins. If you guys have not seen my review, um, my opinions, my whole video on these, definitely go check it out because I give you... Um, yeah, a full video and telling you guys how amazing these things are. I highly, highly recommend them. Love Gully. Love Gully so much. Um, I used the Equate um, Clear Lax. This is just the off version of Miralax. Hunter does have some constipation issues. So um, this has been, we put like a little bit in his juice in the morning and it has been helping him. So I like love that stuff. Um, the Gain, this stuff, this one smells so good. The Gain Moonlight Breeze Dryer Sheets. I usually just get like the Walmart ver the brand, so it's way cheaper, but I'm like, mm, I'm going to get something. I'm going to get the Gain because I think Gain smells good. Yep. And I really like this one. So, yeah. Um, then I got the Gillette Pro Glide, Glide Shield. Razors, obviously I took that out of the package and I used it. Love this. I highly recommend um, using men shavers for women. 
So here's the other poopery one. This one is in vanilla mint. Yeah, I I don't know what it is, but like maybe the other scents and stuff smell really good. This smells good, but like I said, after using it like 15 to 20 times, like spring in there, you know, before you poo and stuff, maybe it's just like you get sick of that scent. So I'm just like, I don't know. Those two scents I'm like not the biggest fan of. Um, they don't smell bad, but I'm kind of like, eh. Um, I used up the Myers Clean Day Aroma Therapeutic Lavender Scent. Um, this is the Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Y'all, I highly recommend this brand. I love this brand. And also, I wanted to say Toilet Bowl Cleaner is a really great way to clean your bath and your shower. Really great way. Um, but a dollar store one is the Shower Cleaner Quick and Easy Cleanup. Um, I think this one does pretty good, too. And that one's from the dollar store. Um, I got this from the dollar store too. It's like super hard and stuff now. But it is the, um, it was like a cherry scented thing and it was jelly and it was like super high. Um, this was a dollar, obviously dollar store. So it lasted kind of what I expected from the dollar store. Made the house smell like a little bit of cherries. Not too much unless you really stood next to it. It was a cool little thing to have, but not something I'm going to buy again. Ulta Beauty um, Facial Towelettes Makeup Removing Wipes. These are my go-to makeup removing wipes. I love these so, so much. They're the best I've ever tried, and I have tried tons of makeup wipes. I didn't want to say I was wearing my mask earlier when I was at the store, so if my face looks a little eh, don't mind it. I got the Coconut Cleansing Towelettes from Ross a while back, too. These were okay. They always have like tons of fun makeup wipes at Ross and Burlington and TJ Maxx and stuff. And I always tend to just like grab one because sometimes they're like really good, you know. These were kind of just bland. Not something that I like highly recommend. Um, love me some Pine Sol, the antibacterial. This is highly recommended, especially for COVID because they say it kills COVID, but I'm not really sure. I mean, it's antibacterial, so I use this on my floors. And I love it. Okay. Um, with cleaners, bathroom cleaner. This one I got from the same site as the Myers one. Um, it was good. Nothing that I was like, oh my gosh, I totally, I will repurchase, you know. A hand soap, the stress release, um, relief eucalyptus tea. Foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works. I really, really like this one. I love how it foams and I love the pump. I hate getting rid of these bottles. I could probably totally reuse this. Um, probably be a good idea to save that. Um, let's see here. Oh, the Sol de Janeiro. People say boom boom cream, bum bum. That's what it's called, bum bum cream. Um, I used obviously all of this up. But I can't stand this. I don't really like this. The smell of it's good. Maybe it's the other one that I couldn't stand. Yes, it's in here somewhere. It's the one in the orange, in the green, greenish blue tube. This smells pretty good, but I don't really think it does anything. The price is insane. I got that obviously in a subscription box. So, yeah. Um, next up are these foot masks. And they're the ones that make your feet peel. My feet really didn't peel that bad, so I wasn't really too impressed with this. Um, I do kind of want to try it again, though, so I'm probably going to try that again. All right. Um, the Revlon, finally a makeup product. The Revlon Photo Ready Candid Glow Moisture Glow Foundation. Now, I do have a little bit left in here, um, but this is expired. It's a good foundation if you're looking for something light but has pretty good coverage. I do like this one. It was one, definitely one that I suggest. Um, this is something that I suggest. I love this stuff. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And obviously I use this one all up. It's a really good set and spray. Setting spray, highly recommend it. Oh, oh this one smells so good. This is the Body Fantasies um, Twilight to Mist. You can get these for a few dollars at Walmart, and this one, yeah, there's nothing left. Oh, it smells so freaking good. I got so many compliments when I wore this one. So many compliments. 
Garnier Fructis is one of my favorite hair care products. Love, love, love them. And this is going to be definitely something that I repurchase after I use my other um, air drying spray. But this is something that I think everyone should have in their collection. You should, everyone should have, even if your hair doesn't get tangly, you should have a detangle and air dry spray. If you air dry your hair, you should have something like this. This is the, um, it has aloe extract in it too. And it's just like, it smells amazing. It really hydrates your hair. Highly recommend it. I seriously, that brand is like my favorite. Love it. Alrighty, so next up I have the L'Oreal uh, hair, like, hair dye in Dusty Mauve. I think I will be posting a video on me using this. Actually, I might not. I don't know if I recorded that or not, but this is a really pretty color. I like that one. Um, this right here is the nasal spray from Equate. I didn't use it enough in time, and personally... I like the one that I have downstairs for Hunter a lot better. It's just like easy. You press a button instead of just like squeezing this up your nose. Um, this right here, I did use this one all up. It's the Revlon Candid Foundation. Um, the one that I did show earlier was the Glow one. And then this is the regular one. I highly, uh, highly recommend both of these. I do really enjoy those. Like if you're looking for a just like all natural kind of um, like fresh good coverage foundation. That is one for sure that you should try at the drugstore. This is the American Cream Shower Gel from Lush. And this one was in the scent Strawberries. I don't know. It doesn't really say a scent. But it smelled good. Yeah. Yep. I love that scent. It smelled really, really good. Um, Let's see here. The Origins Clear Improvement charcoal mask. Highly recommend this one. I love it. Sorry, my cat's meowing like um, crazy downstairs. She likes, she whines. Smokey, come here. Um, this one works really good. I love a good clay mask. This wound wash is amazing. Very good for if you get piercings. Um, a really nice because it has the little spray nozzle on top and it's awesome for, like I said, when you have piercings. So highly recommend that. Next up is the Yes to Coconut um, Two-in-One Scrub and Cleansing Stick. So this one is like the, yeah, it's a um, coffee, energizing coffee. So this is what it looks like. I do have, um, no, actually, let's see how much I have left in this. So my thing, yeah. Look at that. I have quite a bit left. There comes, there's a lot of use in this product, y'all. I don't even remember how much I paid for it, but it's definitely worth it. Gosh, I am like, smoky. I am throwing a bit away, but I do think that this um, expires after a certain amount of time. It does show on back 12 months. So yeah, I've definitely had that long and to me. When you're scrubbing your face and stuff with it, I do feel like bacteria can sit on top. Um, so, give me one second. All right, speaking of a cat, um, I think she's in heat. I need to get her, I'm going to get her spayed. Um, but I have the um, Simple Kitty Odor Control Fresh Scent Litter. I always, I wasn't the biggest fan of this one. There's another one from, I can't think of. Glade or something that works way better. So I recommend the other one. Um, this right here is something that Matt and I use all the time. It's the PRX Dirt Lift Action After the Rain Laundry Soap. We get this um, sent to us. We get from a few things from Amazon, subscribe and save, and we get this sent to us, and we've gone through like four of these. So I do recommend that. All right. So next up is this. Um, R2CO, I think it's, I don't, R and CO, cleansing foam conditioner, um, and has the, like, push, so I've never used, like, a foaming conditioner like this before, and I actually really liked it, but this, when you first spray it out, it does not smell good, 
But then once you really like rub it into your hair and stuff, it smells really good. And it actually lasts really long in your hair after you wash it out, like the scent wise. So I like this. If I got it again in a subscription box, I would totally use it. I like that brand. I like that brand a lot. Finally used up my CYO. They don't obviously make this anymore, but this was one of the best foundations I have ever tried in my whole life. This is a long lasting foundation from CYO. CYO. Yep, it looks like there's a little left in there, but nothing will pump out. So um, this was my go-to for like two years. I love that foundation. All right, I did use up the Briogeo um, Banana Coconut Nourishing Superfood Shampoo that I got from Riri from our swap. I'm still using the conditioner, but this gave me like two shampoos for my hair. Um, so like little sample bottles like this, I do feel like it's a lot better for like when you're traveling and stuff. But y'all, this banana scent, scent smelled so good. I love having sample products like that though. Um... Because it's awesome to try out a product in case you don't like it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't buy the large bottle of that just because there's other shampoos that I like that are like a third of the price. You know what I mean? Um, this is a brand, Le Lovely, Lovely Soaps from, um, yeah, Lovely Soaps on uh, Etsy. And um, this was in the scent... Black Raspberry Vanilla is a cream flush, a cream fluff soap. It was pretty good. Nothing that I thought was amazing. So, this right here was amazing. This is the Captain Crunch Berries Bubble Bath Crumbles. And um, obviously, I'm going to keep the packaging because I can make some like um, coffee scrub with it. But it looked exactly like the Captain Crunch Berries and use it in the bathtub for um to make yourself some bubbles and this is from body soul and soaps and i love them um you can find them on like instagram all right a few other lush products this is a lush santa belly shower gel and the lush um angela angel of bare skin cleanser i guess so I do like Lush products. Um, I personally don't, well, I like the smells and stuff. I don't like the jellies. They drive me crazy. I think they like, there's still actually some in here. Yeah. So it's pretty much a jelly. Uh, I got this last year. So not last year, but the year before that. So this is definitely expired. Um, but I just, I hate how it like falls out of your hands and stuff like that um it's just kind of is annoying this right here is from southern culture creations i do like some of their um her products but this is a love spell sugar scrub and as you can see it's still full um yeah there's just something about the scent of this was just too strong for me i couldn't do it um love spell is definitely something that like brings back like um High school vibes and stuff for me. We wore Love Spell all the time. This one right here, as you see, it was like a bright colored scrub. This one was from Lizzie's Fizzies, I'm pretty sure. You guys have seen me use her bath bombs. Um, this, I, I've, I've used some other sugar scrubs that were better than this, so I wasn't like the biggest fan of that. Um, I love the coffee scrub from... My Tan Body and Skin. I used that up. I love it. Um, I liked the Bird Speeds Moisturizing Lip Mask. Worked really well. Um, the Iconic Keratin Smoothing Mask. These are awesome. You can get the packages at Sally's. I'm pretty sure you can get... I don't know if you can get the Ion brand at Walmart. But Ion is a really good brand. And these right here are so amazing for your hair. Um, I just got the regular razor from Walmart. I've used these obviously before. They were good, but to be honest, I don't think they're as good as um, the like men's Gillette razors. So I always catch myself um, not really getting a close shave and then getting razor burn from these. But there is something I do use 
that helps me from not getting razor burn and it's in, so there's some in here somewhere so I'll show you guys what that is we're going into the next bag um this is the mousse bath bar I love them the salt soak the lavender they sent me a little sample and this stuff was amazing I loved it I have more soap bath salt soak or whatever from them and I'm so excited to use it um I thought I just used this oh yeah so I have two boxes of this because I did use some of my extensions. Um, okay, some soap. This is the Autumn Rainfall Bath and Body Works soap. There's a little bit left in there, but I like the smell of this. It smells really good. Like I said, Hunter loves those bottles. Sorry, that's, I thought I heard the garage opening, but it's here. This is the Dial Complete Antibacterial Soap in lemon and sage i really do like this kind i think it's great um i love antibacterial soap obviously okay so it's definitely a different day um i had to had some issues with my phone don't mind the background i have kind of been switching things up but i have two huge things over here that i still need to go through so let's just quickly go through it all right i went through a thing of olive oil so obviously I do like olive oil, but I've been actually getting the avocado oil and I've been liking it a lot better. Um, so funny story about this. This is like the um, kitty litter box refreshener boost. And I thought this was the stuff that you use like this right here. I got this one right here. Boost in um, boost booster, fragrance booster for the um, wash machine. You just put it in when you do your load of laundry. So for like six washes, I thought this was that stuff. So I, mean, I used this on my clothes and I didn't <clears throat> notice any difference of me breaking out or anything like that. But when I noticed it, I was like, oh my gosh, you have to be kidding me. I seriously was using this on clothes, but I used it in the cat box and it did seem to work pretty well. But this stuff is from the dollar store. Obviously, it's way cheaper than the other more expensive brand at Walmart, which I do have some of that, but I haven't, I don't think I used all of it up yet. Also, don't mind my red nose. I got a little sunburn and my lips are like very chapped and my hair is looking crazy. So yeah, it's just one of those days. So let's see. Next up, I use the four, Airwick 4-in-1 four um, vanilla indulge spray. I always love having sprays like this. Preferably, I like the Febreze one way better than the, the Airwick, but this one smelt pretty good. I like that one. Okay, this is one of my like holy girl products that I just, I recommend to y'all. Um, I probably have three of these in here because I constantly rebuy them. This is the Bikini Zone Anti-Bumps Shave Gel. This stuff obviously you use on your private area and you like the bikini area and you um, can use to um, when you shave to help not get bumps and stuff. And this stuff works amazing. I love it so much. I always had to have that in my shower. Next up, always have to have Epsom salt in um, my closet for my baths, especially since I've been working out more often. This is the Glow and Radiance. This one smelt amazing this one has vitamin c in it and dr teals has a handful of brands they just came out with a few new ones as well that i'm very excited to try but i highly 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 recommend having epsom salts if your body is sore um with taking like baths this right here came in a um a subscription box it's the called the little moon essentials it's aromatherapy sleep come easy it's like one of those sleep mist I do have a Dr. Teal's one right now that I'm using, and um, the smell of this, Hunter really likes it. You know, it's got the lavender and stuff in it, and I kind of spray it on his pillow and his sheets and stuff before um, we go to bed. And this is kind of something that I'm not like, oh my god, I, I don't know if it works or not, but I just know the smell of lavender and stuff before bed is very calming. Um, speaking of something that smells amazing, this right here smells incredible. It smells so good. It is the Soap and Glory Clean on Me um, shower gel. And I love Soap and Glory's packaging. 
Um, as you can see, I used up just about every bit of this. I know it has a little bit left, but it was hard to get out of the tube. So this stuff smells really good. Um, do I recommend it? Not really. Um, I don't really think that it really did much for me, but I do like the scent and the body lotion that comes. Yeah, the body lotion that comes with this um, smells so good. I actually have that in my cabinet right now and I'm almost done with it. So definitely recommend that one. Oh yeah, speaking of Dr. Teal's, I have the Dr. Teal's Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil um, Epsom Salts. This has to be by far the most amazing scented um, Dr. Teal's product that I have ever used. Uh, this is my favorite. I um, need to purchase the one, this one again. Um, it does have the essential oils and stuff in it, but I do feel like these work amazing. Um, Walmart does have a, have a brand of Epsom salt, and I do feel like it's kind of the same price as Dr. Teal's as well, so I just go with Dr. Teal's because I know I like, like the smell of it. They do have some that are fragrance-free, though. All right, next up I use this Vitamin E Skin Care Cream, and I really, I like... I guess there's a little, a little spot left in there, but you can see it's pretty empty. I used this, and I really, really, really liked it. It helps with um, stretch marks and stuff. So if you're dealing with that, dealing with wanting to get rid of stretch marks and stuff, vitamin E is definitely the key. So this is the now now by um, tonic facial spray. I really love the packaging on this. Um, I feel like it's very I mean, this is plastic, but the top is kind of like bamboo and, or wood, and um, I just really like the packaging. And obviously, it's empty, and this probably has to be one of my all-time favorite toners that I've used. And I got that sent to me um, from in a, um, like a subscription box. Next up is, obviously, during the summertime... We went through a lot of sunscreen. I got the Kroger Kids sunscreen, SPF 50, and then the Banana Boat SPF 50. To be honest to me, like I use these on Hunter, and I feel like they both work the same. Obviously, the Kroger brand was cheaper than the Banana Boat, so I think with sunscreen you can get the like off-brand, and they'll totally be fine. I used up this sample of the Batiste um, Dry Shampoo. This was in just the original scent. I'm pretty sure I got this one from a subscription box as well, and I do have a few full sizes in my bathroom right now that I'm using, and this has to be one of my all-time favorite um, dry shampoos. I will have a review up on that very soon. Um, I used up the Glam Glow Face Wash. I love how beautiful this packaging is. This came in my BoxyCharm, and they did end it up the next week after they ended up sending me, and then the next month afterward they ended up sending me the same um, face wash, and I wasn't mad because Glam Glow is very expensive, and this has to be, this is a um, daily conditioning cleanser, but this I feel like works the best to like remove makeup, so I tend to only use this on days that I am um, wanting to get like all the makeup and stuff off my face. So, speaking of face wash, this is a Shea Moisture African Black Soap Facial Wash, and I think this was this was good. I have like a little bit left in the pack, um, but I think it expired. That's why I'm getting like rid of it. It was really good, but it's not something again that I recommend. Um, but I think that I mean, well, I recommend it, but I don't think you need to go out and buy it. I think the Saint Ives one is actually way better. I have one of those in my shower right now as well. Ooh, this leaked. So this was the L'Oreal Revitalize um, Anti-Hyaluronic -ac Acid um, Serum. I got this sent to me from Influencer, and I really did like this, and um, it just got to the point where, obviously, I used almost all of it, and it was to the point where it was expired. These were the Ofra Cleanse It Off um, Lip Wipes. That liquid kind of leaked on there. These are awesome for obviously just wiping off liquid lipstick that's very annoying on your face. I think there's a few other brands that are a bit cheaper that I do recommend, but 
um, if you happen to get that in a subscription box or something, um, I think you'll like it. So this is the Ion Colors After Color Seal Sealer. I highly recommend using one of these color sealers after you um, dye your hair. I think this works great. It smells really good. Those aren't that expensive. And you can get that at Sally's. Okay. A handful of things I'm trying to just go through like super fast. Um, speaking of hair dye, I got the Lime Crime Unicorn hair in the color like Juicy, the pink. This was the worst hair dye that I've ever tried. It did not, the color did not show up in my hair like whatsoever. So for some deodorants, I had the Old Spice um, Fiji um, deodorant. And this one smelt really freaking good. I think that I got this one because Taylor Wynn recommended it. And I like how it wasn't a gel um, I need to, I'm going to keep this out because I want to put this on my list of things to re, like, get again. Um, because this was actually, Old Spice smelled amazing and this is actually one of my favorite deodorants that I've gone through. This one right here is from Donna Karen. It's a cashmere mist. I got this in a subscription box. It's one of the, like, roll-up deodorants. This smells amazing. Um, it's to the point where it's about to break. So I highly recommend if you're wanting to try out kind of a different deodorant, but one that kind of smells like a, a perfume. I really don't, deodorant, antiperspirant, this one's not an all natural one. I'm kind of on the whole all natural brand thing right now, um, which I know Old Spice isn't, but I do have the other brand. Um, I don't have it in here with me. Actually, I do. I think I have some in here. It's the... Uh, I can't think of the brand name. It's a very easy brand name, but I can't think of it. Um, and I've been really loving it, but this one smells super, super good. So I really like that one. All right, this right here was the Cup of Coffee Face and Body um, Scrub from Lush. I love this one. I'm kind of mad at myself that I did not use all of this up in time because there's a little bit left in here. But this stuff, I highly recommend. It's one of my favorite Lush products. And speaking of Lush, I got the Volcano Foot Mask. This, again, is one of my favorites from Lush. Um, this you put on your feet, and it's just like a foot mask, and it works amazing. And I had my sisters do it with me, and they um, all, like, really enjoyed it. So, okay, speaking of, well, no, this is a sunscreen, but it's a, like, a stick, a stick sunscreen. Um, and um, it's is amazing because it's SPS 72. So this is just kind of like a deodorant stick and then you can just like rub it on your arms. I feel like I like that better than like the spray one, the spray sunscreen. Um, so that one is like a Walmart brand. I don't think I've seen it at any other brands, but if you've seen those, let me know in, in some other brands I'm, brands I'm willing, I'm wanting to check them out. This is the Sephora mask. Um, it's the mud mask, mattifying mud mask. Um, this dried out before I could use the whole thing, but I thought their mask was pretty good, and it's a cute little container, a cute little tester to try out, so I do recommend that. This is a Calm Gel from Dermalogica. I did really like this as well. I did get this in a subscription box, as well as with some other random products. I can't really remember the name of it, but this is just the time. It's just the time for me to check it like throw it away because it is it has expired. Um, I kind of, I really wish I would have used it more. I just have so much facial stuff, but um, I wish I would use it more because it actually is a really good product. So the bio oil, I highly recommend what I was telling you that really helps with scars and stretch marks and stuff like that is vitamin E. And I'm pretty sure there is vitamin E. Is there vitamin E in here? This one doesn't say it has vitamin E, but vitamin E can help and all the stuff that's all the different kind of oils and stuff can help, um, can help too with, let's see what it's saying, help smooth skin and body, sorry. Um, yeah, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging, and dehydrated skin and scars. So bio oil. It is pretty expensive, but 
it works. It really does work. I really, really like it. Okay, I have all these like little things, so we're just going to go through it super fast. Like I said, I still have a whole other box over here, guys. Bag over here, so we're going to like rummage through this stuff super, super fast. Like, fast. So this video is not forever. So here are tons of mascaras that I went through. I'll quickly tell you which ones they are and if I recommend it. This is the ColourPop Volume Mascara in the shade Black on Black. Highly recommend. I used to hate this mascara and then I tried it again and I love it. Love it. This is the NARS, um, I think, Climax. Yeah, concealer. Um, this one's pricey. I don't think it's that great. This is the Big Ego Tarte Mascara. The packaging's gorgeous. Don't recommend it. It's not the best. This is the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara in the shade Plump and Get It. I don't really recommend ColourPop's colored mascaras because I just feel like the color is not really that vibrant. Um, the L'Oreal Volume Voluminous Carbon Black. This is one of my absolute favorite drugstore mascaras. I love it. And then the Essence Big um, Get Big Lash Volume Curl. This is great. The price is great. But to be honest, I know that um, the uh, Essence Lash Princess is 10 times better than this one. But if you want, if you're new to makeup and you want to try out some good mascaras, try Essence for sure. So speaking of Essence, oh, here's another. Um, this is the Wet n' Wild Skinny Mascara. Highly recommend this for the bottom lashes. I think it's great. So the Essence, um, this is the Waterproof um, Eyeliner pen, pen in black. I love how like sharp the end is. This, um... I love using when I do makeup for brides because when they cry and stuff, it doesn't, obviously, it doesn't budge. Um, this is the Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner in Black. I did like this one. I got this from my Ipsy. Um, let's see here. This broke and I was sad, but I really liked, I really liked this. This is the Physician's Formula Bronzer Buster booster bronzer booster and um i think this one's great i don't think that's talked about enough and it should because it works really well um this right here is the physician's formula buttered highlighter it's broken as you can see and i don't even want to open it sorry guys there's hair in my mouth um because i know it's going to get everywhere it's really pretty but for the price i just don't i don't i don't think it's worth it i think you can get some other highlighters that work just as good okay so this is a color pop I don't even honestly know what this one is called, but uh, I think it was one of their Jelly Mud shadows. Look how beautiful that is, but these just, you put it on your eyes and they just fall onto underneath your eyes. Even if you use a glitter glue, they got all over the inside of my glasses. So annoying. It's so beautiful, but it just does not stay, which drives me nuts, obviously. I used all of the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow primer. Highly recommend this one. I love how it is um, somewhat pigmented like a, um, a concealer, so it does cover any um, dark spots that you do have on your eyelids. Um, this is the Burt's Beats Enamel Care Toothpaste. I remember this just being kind of like, uh, like one of those funky tasting ones. And to me, Burt's Beats is a pretty expensive brand, so I can get a toothpaste that's way cheaper than that and like it more than that, you know? This is the Pure Least Watermelon Energizing Aqua Bomb. This is one of my favorite um, hydrate, like a uh, creams for my face. Uh, what am I trying to think? Lotions for my face. And um, it's just super hydrating. It smells amazing. And I absolutely love it. This is another thing. I'm pretty sure I have another one in there. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3 in 1 Primer. This one smells so good it's so hydrating i'm pretty sure i have another one up there on my makeup area but this is just great for even days when you don't even want to do like you don't do your makeup you can just spray it on your face hydrate your face it works awesome this right here is a face mask it's a deep cleansing face mask and this one i really liked it's from the brand afro aphrodite i'm not sure if you guys can like really see that but Obviously, I got it in a subscription box, and it did work pretty well. So, this right here is a solid sponge cleanser from e.l.f., and there's nothing left inside of it. Because I used it all, this is one of the most amazing 
cleaners for your sponges and for your makeup brushes. So I highly, highly recommend checking that out. This right here as well is a daily blush, brush cleaner. This, um, after you use your makeup brush, you can just spray it on your makeup brush, wipe it on your, and this smells. This smells so freaking good. Let me open it and re-smell it, but yes, it smells so good and so fresh. I love it. And you just rinse, wipe your brush off on a uh, washcloth and um, it just washes your brush. So that's, that's, that's very nice. So next thing is a skin, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I do highly recommend this. This is obviously a little travel size. I love this micellar water. It's one of my favorites. I used up the Lumify Eye Drops. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Juicy Jazz like raves about this. Um, these are amazing. These are amazing. Highly recommend it. It helps the, like your pupils get brighter. Um, let's see, like take away the redness. This right here is the Mar Morocco oil protects and prevents spray. And I love this. This helps with, um, your color for color treated hair. So it's supposed to help with your colors staying in there and it's supposed to just like help hydrate and keep your hair, hair healthy. So this is the Olay. It doesn't really say the name on it, but the Olay, um, you know, pretty much used it and then it like it dried out. But Olay smells amazing in my opinion. I really do like it, um, but it's very expensive. I got that as a, I got that as um, a little sample in a subscription box. So that is what's in there. Let's do this bag here and then we are finally done. Okay. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this already, but I got, I used the Plum Rain Bath. It goes that really pretty purple color. Um, shower gel from Lush. And this has to be one of my favorite shower gels as well. Smells super good. And I really love Lush products. Matt and I have used up probably 10 of these. These are the Cascade Complete um, things for our dishwasher. Honestly, we have an old as hell dishwasher and our dishes get super clean. So I think this has to do with it. So I highly recommend if you guys are having issues with your dishes not really getting clean to just try this out and let me know if, you, if it ends up working out for you or not. So I always believe that you need to wash your veggies off before you eat them. I recently just finished this up. This is the Eco's Fruits and Veggies Wash. And I never really read what's like actually in here. And yeah, all different kinds of things. Um, water, citrus acid, potassium, sorbet. Yeah. But anyway, I feel like it does its job. So I like that one. Okay, I'm so sad that this is gone. Um, you guys are going to see a video very soon on another um, unboxing from the oil cauldron. This is the whipped soap, the blueberry muffin and all gone. This stuff is one of the most amazing smelling things I've ever smelt in my life. If you ever had growing up those blueberry French toast cereal, that's exactly what that smells like. Okay, so I was talking about all natural deodorants. So I saw this one and I was like, I want to try this out. It's the Arm & Hammer Essentials um, Essentials with Natural Deodorant, Rosemary Lavender. And this sucks. This has to be one of the worst, um, like it smells good, but it did not do anything. It did not help uh, prevent sweat and it smells good, but it doesn't stay smelling good on your armpits. So that totally sucked. Um, let's see. So, more of the Dr. Teal stuff. I told you guys that I'm obsessed with this stuff. I love it so much. This is the Wellness Therapy, a therapy with Rosemary and Mint. I did like the smell of this one, but I do prefer all the other ones better. But, like I said, I do like trying out new things all the time, so I just wanted to try it out. I still think it's really good. Dr. Teal's is just amazing. We probably went through, like, 500 of these. And this is the Parents' Choice Fragrance-Free um, Diaper Wipes. I enjoy these. I think they're great. I think we recently picked up some of the loved ones and hate them. Like, or I forgot what brand. 
but they pull out so thin and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it was those ones or it was these ones. I can't really remember, but we have some more of those left and I've been seeming to really, to really like them. Um, so I got the, um, Oli vitamins, the daily energy with vitamin B12. I think this packaging is just so cute. These did absolutely nothing for me. So I feel like I wasted my money on that, but I don't recommend it. I don't recommend those. They don't, like I said, they didn't do, everyone's different on what vitamins work for them, but that just didn't work for me. We had gone through a handful of these. They're the allergy relief pills. Um, they help with sneezing, runny nose, itchy throat, itchy watery eyes, which I have all the time. We usually take a few of these before bed and they do help us sleep as well. Um, I use some of the snow spray this Christmas and I don't recommend that because those take, they are a freaking mess to clean up. So it was a once, one and done kind of thing. So like I said, I would have another goalie gummy thing in here. There's another empty one. I got some more sunscreen. Oh, got another one of the spray cans. More sunscreen. See, this is what I love. This is the Up and Up brand sunscreen. This is SPF 50. I got this from um, Target. I think it worked amazing and it was pretty inexpensive and it's a huge bottle. So yeah. Oh, see, this is Native. Native is a brand I was going to tell you guys about that I really liked their um, all natural deodorant. This is Cucumber Mint and I feel like it smells really good. I'm going to be doing a separate review on that so I won't talk too much about it, but I like that. Uh, I liked it a lot. So what's in here? I used up the one size go off um, makeup wipes. I think these worked pretty well. They're huge makeup wipes, but I just wouldn't repurchase them again because I've tried some other face cleaning products that I actually like a lot more. Um, we used this in Hunter's bath. It's the Johnson's Baby Moisturizing Wash. Um, smelt pretty good, but to be honest, I don't think you need to get Johnson's and Johnson. You can get like the Walmart brand and to me it works just as good. So I found this at the dollar store. I thought I had like two of these in here, but this is a shave gel moisturizing with vitamin E and aloe, aloe vera, berry burst. This is like a shave gel and I really like shave gels and it was only a dollar. So if you ever see that at dollar store, pick it up because it works great. When I told you we went through a lot of sunscreen, we went through a lot of sunscreen. These, This is the um, Walmart brand Equate and um, SPF 50, and this helped us. Obviously, we like protecting our skin, and we like not getting sunburned during the summer or being out in the sun at all. It's very important to take care of your skin. So this is the Tom's, gosh, I think this has been a while. So obviously I used this, didn't like it. It's the antiperspirant for women, witness protection. It's the coconut lavender. Um, it smells good. But the reason that it's in here is most likely because it didn't work for me. I don't remember it. So if I don't remember it, I know that it didn't work for me. Um, and here, obviously I have some developer, 40 developer. Um, I do like salon care. You get it at Sally's, their developers. Um, pretty inexpensive and it works really well. This I loved very much. It's the Vanilla Blossom Gentle Wash from Sweet Spot Labs. And um, I got this from a subscription box and it smelt really, really good. I liked it a lot. I was very sad about this that I did not use this in time. But this is from Twisted Allure. It's the Jason Rises. And look how cute this is. It's a sugar scrub that has like a Jason soap in it and this smells like sweet pea it smells really good but it's definitely expired so I'm not going to even I think I used it once and it ended up turning my skin super red and itchy and my skin never does that so I'm like I'm gonna obviously throw this away um I'm sad this is gone too this is the vibes bath bombs these are two um small businesses and this is the Colorado Sunrise if you guys haven't seen my video on um, the Vibes Bath Bombs supporting a small business, check that out because I did unbox this and it was like the most beautiful sunrise looking body wash. I absolutely loved it. So seeing this in here, I was talking about the Bum Bum Cream earlier 
and this one is in Coco Banna cream, Coco Banna cream. Um, it just, this one, yeah, to me, how someone likes the smell of this and putting it all over the body is insane to me because it smells like, I liked caramel popcorn, but not when it's like rubbed scentedly all over my body. So I did not like that one whatsoever. Speaking of mascara, oh, speaking of goalie vitamins, here's another goalie vitamin bottle. Uh, mascaras, this is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, one of my all-time favorite mascaras that I've ever tried. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, let's go through all of this super, super fast. So I tried the Summer Color Self Tanning Mist. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of this. I think it smelled, the smell was way too strong and it made me look pretty orange. So this right here, I haven't been drinking like soda and stuff lately and I want to have something that actually has flavor in my water. I love the Crystal Light uh, Strawberry Lemonade, obviously, and also has zero calories, so that's very helpful. But the strawberry lemonade from Crystal Light is by far one of my favorites. I love it so, so, so much. Uh, and then I had the blackberry lemonade. This one's good, but the strawberry lemonade one is 10 times better. Okay, one thing that I'm very sad that's going is the Sonia Castrix sponge that I have. Um, it just obviously is sad and it's time to go. You should always throw your beauty blenders away after using them for a few months when they get all gross, you know. Um, so influencer did send me these two things from Peter Thomas Roth right here. And this is a lift and firming cream. And these are the peeling pads. I do highly recommend these products. I think they're great. I just obviously didn't use all of it in time before it expired. It expired for yeah, 18 months and then 24 months. Um, so it definitely has been that long, but these products are amazing. If you're looking for some like really good skincare, another really good, um, micellar water is the Bioderma. To be honest with you, I think Bioderma is more expensive than um, the Garnier one. Um, so I recommend the Garnier one more than that one. Um, yeah, this is what I was talking about when I talked to you about the Dermalogica. I got the Curology, the moisturizer, and I really liked it. Um, I feel like people who use Curology is the one that do suffer from more of like acne prone skin and stuff. And luckily I don't get acne that like breakouts and stuff that often. I'm very blessed with that. Um, so yeah, we got a few more products and then I'm done. I used, um, let's see, I got a few products in here, but I don't feel a need to really talk about it. Um, this right here is the body cleanser. This is what Matt got in his fashion stuff box. And he used up all of this. I used it a few times and I actually really ended up liking it. He said that he liked it. It wasn't anything like spectacular. But um, it did its job. And then... You're spectacular. Huh? You're spectacular. Oh, you snake. Ooh, I used the cream shop um, under iPads. And they looked like little like moon... like nighttime kind of things these worked really really well so i highly recommend those this has to be by far one of my favorite smelling of the scent sensations the wax melts this is the mystic it's got that pretty unicorn on it i got this at walmart smells so so good um okay so two more things this is a skin and co whipped cleansing cream i really did enjoy this I did get this from a subscription box. This was great to remove makeup. So this one and these ones for 2020 were two of my favorite to use for removing my makeup. I do have a new one that I'm trying from e.l.f. that I did use um, oh, for a few months in 2020. But I only have like a little bit left up. So you guys will see that for sure in an empty video is coming soon. Obviously 2020, we needed to use some Lysol. So I use the Lysol and citrus meadow scent smelled good did its job so that's awesome and i think yeah that's all i'm gonna show you i have a few other things but they're not really that interesting um some mouthwash from pretty sure that was from dollar general or big lots or something i don't think it really whitens my teeth much 
Um, I love this stuff right here. It's the tire foam, tire wet foam from um, Black Magic. This is awesome. You just spray it all over your tire and it helps make your tire look all brand new. Last but not least is the Unstoppable Febreze Air and it, the scent was, in, scent was in shimmer. Smells really good. I like it. But I, like I said, I always love having some Febreze stuff around the house. So that was all of my 2020 empties. I know this video is up late. Sorry. I just been doing my thing with some other stuff. So um, I'm hoping to be doing more YouTube stuff. Um, very, very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know. Have you tried any of these products? Because I showed you probably like over 200 and something products because I have, I saved up that much trash just for you guys, just to show you. Um, thank you guys for all your support lately. It means so much to me. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.